Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and this is tutorial about the parametric facade actually this is not parametric this is called adaptive facade so we will create the adaptive for the things uh, I mean the either adaptive the, um, the panels and we'll create for example this roof uh, continues to the wall and for example the stadium so all this model you can find in my patreon for, for you if you will subscribe you will get it uh, or you can follow me and you will do the same thing so uh, i think this is enough for introduction and let's start and first thing what i need to do uh, i will uh, not close this project i will close all the windows uh, in this projects and I'll create new one because I want to show you the how to create it from the zero So let's create a new project. I will use the architecture template Let's go inside the project and here we are and first what I want to do before we will start I want to create some grids. I need just two grids only for the Create the center of the my future building. That's it now I can see where is my center of the building. And let's go to the some elevation view, for example, east one. And let's create some more things here. Like I can see now this is my the center of the building. And here this is my second level. Let's copy it and we'll create like level 3, level 4 and level 5 for the roof. So here we are. And what I want to create else, I want to create the reference plane. So I will create the reference plane between of the levels. So let's create it like between of the levels. Uh, as you see now, it's not on the between, but it will. So I did it like this and let's write like here. It will be two. Uh, it will be 1.5. Here will be 2.5 or 2.5. It means like uh, between uh, level 2 and level 3. Here it will be uh, 3.5. And the last one will be 4.5. So we did it. And now let's use dimension. Uh, and let's create the this thing. Because all the my levels, it's 4 meters. I will use... Oh, sorry. We can do like this actually. Don't spend your time. And let's do like this. So uh, we can uh, create um, elevation actually, or, or equal, sorry, elevation. Just choose out all of them and let's do equal. So now it's equal and we know like here it's two meter, here it's two meter. Let's unconstrain. So everything okay now. Let's continue now on the plan. Let's go to the plan. And now we will create uh, our mess. So we should create the mess. We will go to the mess and let's uh, unhide our mess, like show the mess. And now we need to create the mess in place. Of course you can create the family mess, but uh, we should uh, work now in the project. So, and I will choose the uh, circle uh, one and let's create on the first level. You can see it's here, here the placement plane level one. And also you can see our reference plane here. So we will create the first one on the plan. But the first level, it's not good uh, uh, to create because we will see only the uh, things what we will place on the first level better one if we will use the site one because the site plan uh, able to see everything it doesn't matter it's under first level or above so let's go to the uh, site view and we will use the cycle again and let's create for example first uh, the curtain or uh, the diameter will be like three meter after that we will change first level to the uh, reference plane 1 and that one will be on the same line. Again I will choose to the uh, second level and we will do a bit extent like 3.5, 3.2 and uh, just continue like that. Now I will a bit extend again. Now I will ch change this is was the level which one it was let's check it out reference plane 2.5 so next it's uh, level 3 level 3 and let's do a bit bigger like this 
So let's 3.5 is also a bit bigger, like this. Level 4 is totally like this. 4.5 it's like this. And level 5 it's the final one, it will be like this. Okay, we did it and you now know, do, do not understand what's going on, right? So let's go to the 3D view and you will see. So we did this form. Now we are able to just select everything and just click on the create the form. And as you see, we get this is nice shape. Of course, you can use revival. Uh, you can use the model in context. But now you will see why I use this method and why I used uh, the mess for that one. Let's choose the one of them or all of them. And here you will see divide the surface. Let's divide the surface and now you understand why I did it. I hope. If not, I will show you why. So I will delete the uh, below the surface and uh, above the one. We don't need that, we need just the shape. And as you see, we get the nice pattern. So this pattern we able change to any what we want. Octagon, for example. Uh, I don't know, the, let's do the uh, rhomboid, it's also the curl. So let's do this one, I really like it. And we will change the numbers, for example, maybe 20 by 40, let's check it out. No, uh, here will be 20, here will be 40. Mm. Okay, 30 by 60. Let's do like this. 40. I just want to make like... A, okay, this is good. Okay, we will leave like that one. So, and here I will change it to... Uh, so, it's here. 30 by 30. Okay, 30 by 30. So, and as you see, we get really perfect uh, the, how to say, it, pattern. And now we should create some panels for this pattern. So, how to do that? And we will create it now. We will go to the file. After that, uh, go to the uh, create new family. Uh, and we need the, we need adaptive uh, pattern based, this one. Model pattern based. Let's open up. And first, before we will start create something here, we should change the our wire network. So uh, let's uh, select them. You can see the network. I can select uh, just by uh, the left from the right to the left click, just like this. And now I'm able to change this uh, the network. Let's change it. And as you see, we have the pretty same thing what we have to, um, before in our model. Let's find our rhomboid, it's here. And I will change the size because uh, here we are using, let's check which one. Uh, here just by numbers, but I want to see the, I cannot see it actually. Surface area, so, okay, it doesn't matter, but I want to control it actually. Okay, I will change the, this to the fixed distance. Okay, 600, so we will make like 700. Just approximately, like let's make 700 by 700. So, now we can work more properly as you understand. Now we will uh, create the some uh, rectangular. You can, so you can find it here. Let's create it and I will set some plane. As you see, I cannot set any plane because all the planes not on the right direction, this line. What I'm gonna do? I will create the first the point element, reference, point element, and place on this side. Just select this plane, and as you see, now I get the work plane on the right position. So this is what I want. And for that one, uh, I just make the visible. Oh, wait, visible it's only for dots. I want to make it uh, the normalized, always, where is that? Show the reference plane, always, here. Sorry, sometimes I'm, I am I forgot the things. Here we are. So what I'm gonna do, I just select this dot and I will do 
0.5 this means it will be exactly on the middle of our line and after that i will go again to the uh, draw panel and i will use the model and rectangular after that we will choose the set work plane because we want to set this work plane and now we are able to draw on this work plane as you see we are draw on directly on this work plane so let's use dimension command d i and let's create dimension here as you see the my scale it's so huge i will change to one to five and i'll create one more dimension here so that dimension will be equal you can see this the small button here equal so it cannot be equal why let's create it again i will use the i command like this and equal it's not possible okay i will try one more time like this okay this is possible so uh what i did wrong i'm making the equal from this uh, dot i need from this line so it's my mistake i'm sorry uh, and now we will uh, we will create the parameter for this the number so let's select this number and here under label dimension you able to create the parameter and let's do like w and instance okay let's do the same thing here like this 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 and equal and overall let's create the new one and again it will be like uh like l like this why not i will prepare my every my all the dimensions because i want to see it more properly and now we will go to the family type and you can see here now we get our parameter here so let's make it 50 by let's say 50 right 50 okay and we'll see now it's working everything working so we can continue so the next thing is pretty simple you should uh, choose your i mean you should select your the rectangular just uh, click by by tap or and select everything like this and just hold the control control key and select your reference plane let's do it and you will get something like this and go create the new form and as you see we get our frame really cool right the cool thing it's if we will go again to the properties and we will change for example this one to 25 and apply our profile will change too so we able change our profile inside and our project um that's really cool thing so uh now what we want to create i will go to the wireframe mode and i will choose all my reference plane as you see i choose this all four lines and i will create the form now revit asking us which type of the uh, surface we want of course i want the flat one because this is will be our uh glazed our window so i will change mode to the shaded one uh, let's uh, change to constraint colors now can see everything more clear so uh let's choose the our our uh, our reference plane or uh, i mean our the glaze is here and we will change the material let's go inside to this uh, this uh, this material i mean the, here you will find three dots and open up uh, let's find some material i move on some glass mm. let's do this nice one why not okay as you see now it's uh, changed the type of the color and we can see now this is our frame this is our the glass and we will change the frame material too so how we can do that let's choose the only the frame just clicking by tap and just change the material our material will be default and we also make it like uh, aluminium for example where is this here aluminium or plastic let's do the plastic the standard one so we did it let's check it material default uh-huh everything okay 
So uh, I highly recommend that you change the name from default to other name because when we will load it inside our project, it uh, can be get we can get the some problems for with this with this one. Let's make it so ABC. Okay, and now we should load inside to the project. Let's load it up. Where is our project? Uh, here is the my project. Project number two. Okay, let's go now to 3D view and I will select this network. And now if you will go to the uh, change the type of the pattern, you will find here the family 10. So this is mean you will get maybe family one, family two, doesn't matter. Some, some family you will get under this uh, pattern. Let's choose it. And now Revit will change this pattern to the our panel. Just wait, wait for it. So here we are, and to, st to see the result, I will just finish my mess and I will switch off the mess form, just to show you what we get. Just a few seconds. Everything this is getting time. Okay, so let's go to the messing, show mess off. So as you see, we get our model. This is our model. This is uh, uh, our kind of kind of roof going to the, uh, going to the wall, and of course you can create now uh, something like this. Why not? You can create it some more the straight because here I did it like this, or the more the uh, flatter. As you see, the all panels here the more flatter. Anyway, here it's more like Zaha Hadid style. Okay, so we did it. Uh, and now the second question, how we can create the continuous, for example, like this to going the down. I will show you it right now. So now I will go back, as you see, I'm back to the my model. I delete the my pattern because uh, here no, 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 no any pattern. So how to do that? You just change your this pattern to the no pattern. And we will continue now to create exterior, exterior thing. So how to do that? Uh, let's go to the side view. Uh, let's find our cycle again. And again, from the middle, I will put the just few, few seconds, one line. Now I will put the second line. And I will do the a bit smaller line here. Let's go to the 3D view and we will work on the 3D view. So this line we will go to the, uh, we will put the, under the level five. So it's actually the same line as here. This line, I think we will leave on the same position and that line will go to the level one. And we will get something like that. So let's select the first line, the second line and third line. And after that, create this uh, shape. As you see, we have created our shape. So the everything same. Now just select your shape, divide to surface and same thing here divide to surface now i will s select everything no not i not will select everything because it's a bad idea i will select one by one for example first i will select internal thing let's check it yeah now inside internal thing i will choose for example now this pattern i'll check uh-huh everything working and i will change 30 by 30. Why I'm doing that now? Because uh, if I will change some, 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 uh, here something, uh, I not uh, spend much resource from the my PC because we are using only lines. And now I'm able to change on 3D, and we will get the same uh, same the numbers from uh, that pattern, but we will get the 3D one. So and I will do the same thing here. Let's choose the, our exterior view. I will go again to the rhomboid and now we will do the same thing 30 by 30. By 30. Let's check it out what's going on. Okay, I think let's check it. Yeah, you can see the same really dimension. So and now we will change it to the our family. Just few seconds and you will get the nice exterior view. We get our exterior, I will uh, finish my mess and I will show you uh, without uh, mess form. 
But I think you already can see how you can create your nice facade with using the, this uh, technique. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, do whatever your you, your one. It's uh, limitless only your imagination. It's really. So we have applied our mm, uh, our facade now. I will switch off the mass form. Let's switch off. But as you, as you see, I still have some this mess form here, even I switched off uh, on this panel. So how to switch off your mess? Just go to the visib visible graphic or the short key uh, W. And here we are. Uh, let's find the mess. As you see, this is switch on. Let's switch off. And Ta -ta! This is our form, our shape we can use for our exterior. I hope it was useful for you guys. Uh, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like and share. Uh, check my links below this video. Go to Patreon to support my channel and whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you soon. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.